Hello, hello, come one, come all. Welcome to the stream. This is Lorenzo here, and I've got some amazing, great news. Number one, of course, is we're streaming on a Friday evening. That's nice. I don't think I've ever done that before, but hey, I've got some time, and basically I'm going to keep it up until I can't stay awake anymore because I am tired. So we will see some crashes probably and some horrible mangling of everything we hold dear. Doesn't matter though, because this is Kerbal Space Program, and here we are, very safety minded, working with a strict, strict budget and um, caring about our Kerbals and reputation because yeah this is hard mode um, for those of you that didn't watch weeks and weeks ago it, this means that we put all the game settings on its super hardest uh, setting that means 10% of all rewards and 1000% of all the penalties so basically one, one screw up and, and we're done so don't want that last few streams we got off the ground literally and figuratively. Uh, let's see, we've got a one-star pilot here. We've got some science unlocked, and as you may, may imagine, 10% of science bonus uh, really doesn't add up that quickly to, well, anything. So, we'll probably be stuck with these parts for a good while. Now, the bottleneck so far have been the contracts. We've been able to get into orbit and I think, I think, I think I've got a design that will allow us to go to the moon, at least on a flyby. But, 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 uh, nobody is asking us to do so. So, we're stuck doing simpler contracts for now, which isn't a horrible place to be stuck at, um, because we can do them and it'll make us money. We have active visual surveys to be taken of the planet Kerbin. And we've done this tons and tons of times to get some funds. And I've got a ship that does it fairly well, but it's been a few weeks, so I'm not completely confident we'll be able to nail this on the first time. Science data from space around Kerbin should be easy. Especially if we have someone in space already. Do we have such a thing? That would be nice. Let's check that out. No, we don't. Of course we don't. But maybe we can put someone in space uh, for that for that matter. Let's see. This is the Oh, this is that zone that we have to get to. That's actually really close. Yeah, let's let's do that first. I seem to recall that we did that already. We did a, a, a very long, long walking episode, that was. Let's see, was it the the Surveyor Super? Was that it? No, because this thing had a liquid engine. Lander? Oh, we're not allowed to have that because we used experimental parts on that. That may be a problem. Yeah, I think this was the one. Why are we not allowed to have that again? Is it because of the small engine? It's because of the small engine, isn't it? Let's have a look. Yeah, we don't have that small engine. Okay, well, we can't use that then. Uh, that's a problem, that's a problem. The 22k monster, what's that? Oh, that was the booster that would get us to 22k of altitude. Okay. Okay, Orbitron, I think that went to orbit. Well, yeah, this is a very, fairly simple rocket against the falling over death. Uh, this is just a recap of the past, mostly. Because I forgot what everything is. So we have the surveyor here. This doesn't look very survey -y. Although this can probably get uh, some can do some good for us. Let's see, Orbitron. Surveyor Super. This is twice as expensive, but what does this do for us? This gives basically goo pods as well. Let's go with the regular Surveyor and see if we can't complete the... Um, if we can't complete the... the, the, the the aerial survey bit of that um, of that survey mission, and then we can build a makeshift lander for the for the EVA part. Let's have a look. The EVA part is over there. It's really 
close. This needs to be... At what altitude do we need that? Below 16 meters. So basically we need to come down right over there. I think we can do that. Should be able to do that, right? Did we see the... No, we're going to return to the VAB to check the throttles, the throttles of the of the rocket. We cover this. False alert, false false alert. We're going to do this again. We're going to do this again. Got all our money back because we didn't actually do anything. All right. 40 and 43. Yeah, seems reasonable actually. Let's go with it. Go. Let's see if I retain these aerial survey skills from weeks ago. Let's see, let's see. So I think we're gonna split this up in two missions. One to get the survey and another one to get the um, to get the EVAs because they're so close together anyway. We can we can do that walking again. It's not the favorite bit, but well we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Okay, navigation set. Below sixteen kilometers. We can do that. This is due north firing rockets go awesome so we're going up for a bit first of course to get through the thick atmosphere and then we're going to cross ocean to get to our designated spot this is quite far actually i hope we're going to make it fortunately we are in the situation where if we don't immediately make it it doesn't actually matter because this ship was really cheap and we can afford a soft mishap like this. I mean, we, we can't afford killing Jebediah, surely not, but, 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 we can afford a small mishap, that's good. Speaking of small mishaps, SpaceX did some awesome stuff as usual. They landed their first stage on a barge. And when I say landed, I mean cr it crashed in a fire. But that doesn't matter. Uh, it went to space, delivered a satellite, while well, the second stage did, and then the first stage turned around braked, did some supersonic high-speed maneuvering and made it back to the barge and then it crashed but it made it back to the barge and that's what counts which was uh, really amazing there's even a small like five second uh, GIF movie of it released by Elon Musk himself which is pretty awesome not a lot of companies do that releasing actual footage of their well so-called failures I mean I wouldn't call it a failure per se but well, there was a fire and stuff got broken, but hey, experimental landings. Anyway, check that out. Search for SpaceX CRS-5 landing, and I'm sure you'll find it. It looks pretty awesome. It's a, a real life-sized first stage of a rocket crashing on a ship. Um, that's officially happened only once in human history so far. So that's, that's cool. You can show up at a party with that movie. Um, if you go to the right kind of parties with rocketry enthusiasts, that is, of course. Um, let's see, I have a feeling I'm going wrong on this approach. Because I'm not high up enough yet. We need to go higher. We need to go higher. Fortunately, hopefully, we can still make it. Otherwise, we did just waste a shot. Go higher. Go higher. Come on. Get a little bit of altitude before we drop down. Oh, sh damn! Now I'm worried that we might overshoot. I'm hoping for the planet to rotate a bit, and our apoapsis is over here at 36. I hope this is about 16-ish. We might be too high. All the worry about being too low may be actually useless. But... I'm not defeated yet. I mean, if we go t over it too high, we'll just deploy parachutes, and hopefully that will slow us down a little bit before everything's going horrible. Yeah, there's no viewers in the channel yet. I usually get like four or five, but it's Friday, and I suppose people have better things to do, for which I don't blame them. Also, I've never been streaming for the past, I don't know, three weeks, so apologies for the intermittent schedule. But, well, what can I say? Life is busy. Can't stream all the time. Right, back to business though. Jebediah approaching. Site, what's the site called? Did we even read up on the history? I don't think we did. On zone KUS2. Fun fact KUS in Dutch means a kiss. So we're going to the kissing zone. 
moving parts experts group sounds like a money laundering operation really truth be told I don't think we need to deploy parachute just yet the spot will be like over there I mean don't we this seems to be going down fairly rapidly this is zoomed in I think I think we're gonna make it. again I underestimate the rotation of the planet the spot is like over there I hope it's gonna count 10 kilometers to fall yeah I'm gonna deploy the parachute now makes a little bit of a difference there it goes. Come on, slow us down. I suppose it's gonna break us more horizontally than vertically, which is good. Of course it's gonna break us vertically as well, which is not good. Okay, we're under the correct altitude. Ah, we missed it. Damn it. I think we missed it. Hey, but we got point, point 0.4 science from this unprecedented Highland photograph. Right. So that's what the space program has come down to. We're exploring mountains and grasslands instead of space. But that's because of a lack of interest of our sponsors, reputation and citizenship, which is much like it is in real life. We're launching satellites to study forests and CO2 and climate change, which is hugely interesting in and of itself, but shouldn't co-opt space travel, we should be making colonies, but not everyone is of a similar opinion on that. Hey, what's up Corey? Welcome back to the channel. Don't worry, you can watch with as many percents of attention as you want. I won't be offended, in fact it's always nice to have viewers even if it's only one-fifth of a viewer, so no worries there. Let's see, this landing will have been completely useless apart from getting our space legs once more on this Friday. I hope we're not gonna fall over here on the mountain, as that would be a bit of a shame. Let's quickly recover that. Oh no. Yeah, I didn't die. That's good. Alright, so we didn't waste too much cash. We even, we even got like almost half a point of science, which is something, I suppose. We now have one science point. Mm. And after recoveries, this cost less than a thousand credits. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. The problem here is that our contract slots have filled up and we need to get rid of this useless contract well it's not useless but it's a bit boring and we can't delete it because the penalty for deleting a contract is um, well in the vanilla game it's it's fairly minor actually but here if we delete a contract we're basically bankrupt immediately so we're gonna do this again and I'm gonna aim slightly better this time I'm gonna aim for a lower periapsis only slightly lower however and more importantly I'm gonna aim slightly east of the target just to make sure that the planet's rotation isn't gonna catch me out again I think actually the, the, the altitude trajectory was fine it was just the aiming that was off and don't worry this time we'll use time acceleration I forgot about that on the last run So I told you about the SpaceX news, what else is there? Nothing, who am I kidding? The world is not interesting apart from space travel. Of which there's not happening enough. Ever. Just so you know. Oh, we're only at 6-7 kilometers, come on Jebediah upgrade those boosters. I've been looking at purchasing a quadcopter with a camera on it and then getting some model rocketry going just to try and launch a rocket and videotape it from the air. Um, so far I've bought none of these toys because I found out the law is actually really really complicated surrounding hobby rocket launches. It turns out they don't actually like you doing it building a rocket and shooting it off into the air and uh, I, I think that's wholly unreasonable 
because playing with explosives and videotaping it from do-it-yourself aircraft is really fun. At least I think it will be really fun. And it's now my unofficial official life goal to launch a homemade rocket before the end of the year. Doesn't matter if it only goes up to like a kilometer. Hell, I'd probably be proud if it goes up to a kilometer. And videotape the launch with a flying quadcopter. Preferably one that I've built myself, but I could purchase it ready to fly. And of course, if I do manage to do that, if I do manage to do that, then I'll definitely put the video on the YouTubes, of course. Oh shit! Burn down! I think I was talking too much, and <laughs> this um, may have gone wrong. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. We need to aim for a lower barrier. Um, lower apoapsis is max 25 kilometers. This is a lot closer than I thought. And let's see. Corey Hill is saying career mode and normal with the real solar system is really hard. I can imagine so. It's similar to this, I think, because the real solar system, the planet, is about 10 times bigger. And here we got like one tenth the money. But then again, to get off the bigger planet, you need more than 10 times the rocket. So maybe it's even harder than this. I don't know. Real solar system is a bitch, though. Are you playing with um, Ferrum Aerospace or without? Because with, it gets a little bit easier, at least on the Delta V side. But you need to take care of designing your rocket, obviously. Right. This, I think we're screwed again. I have definitely lost my mojo. We're at 30 kilometers, we're like passing the site, but we're too high. Alright, well, we're landing pretty much in exactly the same spot this time. Four times time acceleration, if you didn't notice, that's why everything's going so fast. And we will be trying again shortly with a slightly tweaked booster, I think. No, we're just gonna pay attention during the actual booster phase. I think that's a, a recipe for possible success at least. Chat is saying, society is afraid I'm going to bomb a school. I would never bomb a school. It is funny that on the uh, website of the Rocketry Association I read, they say like 500 times that your regular liability insurance, you know, for everyday things like knocking over vases and, I don't know, uh, doing stupid shit on accident, um, that does not cover uh, liability from damage caused by falling rockets. I think that's a really great stipulation to have in your insurance policy if you're an underwriter. Don't cover damage due to falling rockets. Also, if you look at your insurance policy, you will also notice that almost never is damage arising from nuclear weapon detonations, or just nuclear detonations, accidental or on purpose, are not covered. Um, so there's your top tip. If you are afraid of nuclear, nuclear detonations, don't bother buying insurance. It won't cover it. Something else that isn't covered is failed launches that don't make it to the contract site. Damn it. Hey, but we got reputation again. This somehow does reputation stuff for us. So as soon as we get this stupid contract out of the way, we might be able to get a new one. So here we go, third time. With paying attention. Really important. Boom, launching, and now we can just launch and then set the target. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to waste more energy by turning over sooner and staying in the thicker atmosphere. That's really dangerous because that's like an exponential curve thing. If I overdo it, I'll just plop down in the ocean right here and miss it again. If I'm going to miss it this time, I might, um, let's see, I might just take out a single booster and try and land near here and then walk to those areas for even more boredom or I might go for the orbit shot but if there's nothing else to do in space then it won't be profitable on the other hand wasting ships on failed missions isn't profitable either well Corey if you're using real solar system and not using Ferrum Aerospace then indeed it gets really really difficult because the stock, the stock aerodynamics model 
incredibly is incredibly penalizing on large rockets and you need large rockets to get to orbit in the real solar system I could say that it is almost impossible to to design a functional rocket with the stock aerodynamics in real solar system if you then add budgetary constraints to it yeah, then I can see wh where, why you're having problems. If you want to do a, a game in that fashion, I would, would very much recommend on sorting out the mod. I don't, unfortunately, can't tell you how to, how to fix your issues, but I would focus your attentions there. It will make the game more realistic, more fun, and in this regard, as to getting to orbit in the RSS, it will make it easier and realistic so you don't have to feel oh damn it I'm doing it again I'm talking and not aiming so turning over let's see what do we have 25 apoapsis that's good that's good alright aiming at the target now this is good we're wasting energy rubbing against the atmosphere aiming straight at the target we're not going too high we're at 24 kilometers maybe a little bit higher a little bit little bit from here little bit I'm just guessing now let's see 1100 this might be getting a little bit closer I hope this will work let's see time warping on to see if we're gonna get in the area I have a feeling that we may end up short or we may end up right on target as we are at the correct altitude now I'm just hoping that we're gonna inch our way forward just enough if not then we need to aim for 27 kilometer of apoapsis on the next go turns out we can actually do that fairly accurately Let's see, are we still moving forward? We're still moving forward a bit. We could still make it. Don't think we will, but we could still make it. If the boundary is like there, we're going to just inch over it. Is this contract in flight? So we can't walk there and then it counts as being in flight. Hey, there's a, a drop of water there. That's interesting sort of not really damn it I'm getting annoyed by this I know I said I wouldn't do it again but I will because I want to I want to nail it and even if I nail it after four times it will make me feel better am I missing something did we make a grand plan in the last stream and am I now forsaking that grand plan? I mean, I need to get the contract out of the way, but I feel like we're not progressing very much in this game. That's a pity. And even if we can theoretically make it in the super hard mode, if it's not fun to do, then... Oh, that's a problem in and of itself, isn't it? Or I could f try and make my ship better. Oh my kidding, I'm not gonna make the ship better. I'm gonna try again. And inch some more reputation. Eek some more reputation out of it. Surveyor. Pinky swear though, this is the last time I'm gonna try it. After that, I may have to alter the vessel a little bit. This is ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. Activate navigation. So we're going to go for a 26.5 kilometer apoapsis on this curve. And shooting straight for the target. I think. No, that's silly. We're going to go on a ballistic arc. Um, I don't remember the apoapsis of the last time. I think it was 25. I mean, it was 24, and then it went up a little bit. We're going to go for 28 this time. I think that's a good number to shoot for. Get it? Shoot for it. We're shooting. Rockets. Shooting. Shooting. No. Never mind. All right.
Do you know what? If I get too frustrated, I might do an interim game of planetary annihilation. Try to blow up some planets and then try and get off this one. Right. First stage burnout, almost, that is. Second stage engage. Let's turn over a little bit aggressively so we waste some more energy. Because we've got too much energy. I mean, it can take less fuel, of course. But that will make the driving characteristics of this thing less predictable. And we want predictable driving characteristics. Yes, I'm calling it driving. Screw you. 14, 15. I'm going to pay attention as well. No more story time. 15. I can also go the other way, go even higher and try to like drop it straight on it. But then we will need more rocket power, not less. That's it, we're at 17 now. I mean, we should we should at least get up to like 26. And this is this is wasting more energy, although I'm not sure if that's actually the way I want to do it. Here we go, extending the arc. Aiming for the target. 22, that's certainly not going to be enough. Come on. We are at 25-ish. Oh, that's it. And we're way off target. So let's see if we're going to make it this time. Acceleration on. I think that arc is shrinking too fast. I think I screwed it up again. <laughs> In fact, I'm rather... Oh, wait a minute. No, this is, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. We need more rocket power, not less. I made a huge mistake. Thinking I needed to waste energy. That's not true. That's not true, it's never true. Never waste energy. I mean, what the hell are we doing here? Uselessly expending rockets. Come on, land. I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna tweak I'm gonna tweak the energy output of these boosters. I'm gonna upgrade upgrade the first stage. Or I could go with a liquid booster. Whoa! Explosions! That'll be more expensive than anticipated. Actually, thinking of money, we're wasting all of it. We were doing so good on the money. We're wasting all of the money. That's not good. That's really not good. Okay, thrust limiter. More thrust. Um, not that much. Like, like this much. And then a little bit less on this one. Maybe that will do it. Doing this one thing for like half an hour now. Welcome to the infinite repet repetitive hell of space programs. Um, is that actually the name of the game? I'm pretty sure it's not. Let's see, we're ascending faster because we upgraded the boosters. You listen to Jebediah. Upgraded boosters are good boosters. We're gonna shoot for an apoapsis of 28 kilometers on this new and improved arc. At least not more than 30. Yes, we're going up. I had such good mojo with this surveyor craft in the last stream, I knew it by heart. But alas, nothing lasts and I forgot. I forgot, I nailed all of the surveyors in one go, but not this one. Let's see, here we are. We're going faster, but we're going so lower. So, I think that had frighteningly little impact. And I'm turning and I shouldn't be. We should wait. We should wait a little bit. Hey, at least I have like a marker. You can see where I landed the last time. Which was, well, come to think of it, not even that close. 17 kilometers. Let's see, we have a booster that's burning slightly slower, which is probably good for steerability. 
I think the aiming was pretty good. Oh look, there we are. We're we're coming up to like 23 kilometers already. This means that we can do more of our burning outside the atmosphere, well, in the thin bit of the atmosphere. That's good. Oh wait, no, we're already scraping 30. So, and that's uh, that's what I'm doing in real life. Also, I'm scraping 30. I'm al almost 30. Uh, uh, uh. I'm actually not that depressed about it. Being an adult is awesome. I have all this money. People let me drive cars and they don't frown when I do stuff or when I say opinions. They listen to me. I wear a suit and go to work and people take me seriously. It's amazing. It's quite good. Alright then. 30 kilometers. Not the 28 I promised. And we're gonna overshoot it if we don't slow down. And we very well could. Let's see. We're going higher. We're going higher than last time. We're going higher than last time. We are going to drop fairly steeply though. And if the planet would be would kindly just rotate a little bit more, we're going to pass through the area as well. Now for any new viewers, we're trying to get like a photograph of this area below 16.4 kilometers and we're at 28 currently, so we need to go a little bit lower and of course we're out of rocket fuel, so it's Newton in the driver's seat and we'll see if he well, if he flies true today. I hope he will, because this is like the, I don't know, I've stopped counting, the fourth or fifth attempt. And if you're wondering why I'm using such a puny rocket and not like a big cube with all the rocket fuel in the world, it's because we're playing hard mode. And apparently my tongue thinks so as well, because I can't speak anymore. Um, hard mode, 10% of all rewards, 1000% of all penalties, so if things get hard. It's really not that complicated. I hope we... we well, I think we'll make it. We're gonna pass under the marker, like almost immediately under it. Let's see. Crossing the altitude barrier now. Come on. Crew report in flight. Yes! Boom! Got it! Sweet! Deploying parachute. Yes! Victory! We'll immediately forget all the other failures. That part, I have no idea what that is. That's just there. Deal with it. We'll we'll forget it ever happened. Now, of course, the next part to get the EVA surface reports. Those areas are over there. No, over there. That's a lot closer. But that will involve walking. Because... Will it... Does it really have to involve walking? Yes, because I don't have ladders. I mean, if I can make a ship that can accurately land there, then, 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 then I won't be able to get to to, to lift off again. We do have some money though, so I'm not gonna go with an SRB. I am gonna go with a liquid-fueled engine because it is so close. We'll probably be able to land, recover the vessel at least, and we'll only have to walk from one bit to the other. I think that's the least I can try. We're gonna, we're gonna spend some money. For now though, let's, let's just land this thing. And we'll worry about that spending, that spending spree a little bit later. I'm thinking just a stalky rocket with... with some, some struts for landers, um, with some girders for landing struts so that we can land it. If we can recover it, it doesn't matter that the the engine bell is expensive because well we'll we'll recover it. All right, so we got oh we got a little bit of science from the from the contract bit. Nice, we even got some money from it. Sweet. Let's let's get the next bit. Let's get a sloshing surveyor, and it's going to be a sloshing one because it's going to be a liquid fueled engine and liquid sloshes so no arguing about that let's see two tanks a kerbal will be able to survive a drop from there i think and this is a big engine for the for the job but i'm gonna have to do it and we'll have to make sure that it doesn't fall over either because if it does fall over i'll be sorry Is 
this lower than the engine bell? I think it is. This would work. Let's see how much delta V does this silly, silly rock could give. Will it tell me? 2.8 kilometers per second. Should be enough, I think. Are we gonna put Jebediah in it? This feels horribly untested. We're gonna need an emergency abort. We're gonna throw this decoupler in there. And that means if we need to, we can ditch the rocket. So if we're like landing on a mountain by accident and falling over, we, we don't have to die. This cost 400, but if everything goes well, it will cost like five because we'll get 98% of the credits back. And if all doesn't go well, it'll save the life of the Kerbal. So yeah, easy decision, easy decision. Oh, it's turning dark. All right, all right, here we are. We're gonna set course for this bit. Now this is so close. Let's see, I do have to fly in the right direction. It's like completely due north. This is so close. We're not even gonna try and get any real altitude. Is that smart? No, that's not smart. We need to get some altitude to get over the sea. If we're just gonna plow through the air at 50 meters of, of altitude, we're not gonna make it. But we're not gonna go up to like 10 kilometers or something silly like that, because that's that's just silly. We are going way too fast though. Oh no, I don't wanna land in the in the friggin' ocean. Come on. It's not that close. Stupid idiot. Talking to myself by the way. I wouldn't call you an idiot because you're my viewer and that makes you amazing. Easy as that. Alright, um I'm I may have botched this already. Mission number one is to get this thing over land so we can try the landing bit and get the money back for that expensive engine bell. I mean, if I'm going to screw this up anymore, um, we'll be bankrupt soon. I mean, again, again with the, with the slowing down until we're like not going to make it. Um, this direction, full throttle for just a bit. I mean, hey, we may even make it like somewhere near, somewhere, somewhere close to that. Hey, it even looks like maybe we're gonna make it after all. Do we have fuel left? Yeah, because I distinctly remember hitting the shut off button, but then it seemed empty. But we're just like less than one unit of fuel. Let's see if I can point it in the direction of that target and fire that one unit of fuel, maybe it will do something. Look at that, a little bit, a little bit of thrust. Um, yeah, this is not gonna be close enough. Launching again will take shorter than walking this direct, this this distance. On the other hand, walking is easy and we know, we will know we'll, we'll know we'll be sort of close. What kind of landscape is this? Can we walk over that? I mean, that's 60 kilometers to that. That means it's like 20 kilometers here now. This is a fourth, 15 kilom, 20 kilometers there. We can walk at like five meters per second times four times time acceleration is 20 meters per second. Uh, that's six, 70 kilometers an hour. It's still like 20 minutes of walking. It's far too long. So yeah, we're gonna try and land this thing and try again with the launch because that's only that only takes like three minutes. That Temporal economy is clear. That does assume that um, we will be able to safely land this thing and recover it because it was quite expensive. And if we if we can safely recover it, we're gonna fly a slightly higher arc, so we don't die due to aerodynamic problems. That was that was stupid. That was really stupid. I'm chalking that one up to Friday evening tiredness. And because I know the characteristics of this um, stock KSP aerodynamic model, it's not good. It's not good. It's it's like soup. Hey, look at that. It's Minmus on the horizon. That dot is Minmus, and that big thing is the moon. But you could tell that. 
Alright, let's hope that this silly little cylinder will land safely. We've had Gerbil deaths before in cylinders and, well, they're scary. And we're landing at 12 meters per second, which is way too fast, but these girders are really strong, so let's see. Fingers crossed. Oh no! Some bits exploded, but not the engine bell, so that's good. Oh, actually the safety system exploded. Which I think is really good, because otherwise maybe the engine would have exploded, and then we would have been very sad. Now we do need to go and re recover this one separately, but that's fine. Because we will still get the money for that recovery. How is our money now? We lost about a thousand on that. We have to stop incurring these losses, because we're doing so well and now we're wasting it all. But... Sometimes that cannot be helped. We will try this again. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let's set the target as well. Maybe we need to wait until it's... Oh, there's still a little bit of sunlight. Go for it. Boom. Okay, so we're going up to 10 kilometers and then steering. I think that's a good idea. Also, I'm going to work the throttle to not... To be efficient, we're eco green. Oh, you know what my new car has? It has a Tamagotchi. It's built into the onboard computer, and it has like a separate screen that gives you a, a tree that grows grows green leaves when you're dri driving economically. It's the most ridiculous thing ever, but <laughs> hey, it's a feature. <laughs> I thought that was funny anyway. Right. Five kilometers. Oh, we're already through half the fuel. Maybe I need to bring more fuel on this. There's a thought. Radical, I know. Uh, it means we can start pointing straight at the thing now. Just here, full throttlings. 45 degree ish. And if at all possible, I would like to save some fuel for the landing. Oh, this is going better. This is better. I'm sure this is better. Some way. Somehow this is better. Somehow this is better. A little bit of thrusting this way. Somehow this is better. I don't know how yet. Oh, I know how, because the, the, the bits of thrust you get from the last units of fuel are always more than you expect them to be, so that's how they are better. I need to have this on orbit view. We need to go this way a bit. At least we're going to land close to it now, and we're going to land on land, I think. Let's, let's compensate our direction a little bit, like so. Boost! Yes, 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 this is right on the money. We even have some fuel remaining for a soft landing, maybe. Yes, this is going to be great. You think we may overshoot? And we may we may overshoot, but it, when we're right over it, we can, we can use this last bit of fuel to, to slow down. Yes, we're doing it. We're doing it now. Oh, it's not even close to 20 minutes walking from here. Hell, we might even land right on top the first bit. That would be amazingly good. And the distance to this one is like 50 kilometers now. That means it was only 10 from the other direction. Oh, man. Feel cheated now. Of my efficiency calculation. Okay. Parachute time. Can we still correct this somehow? No, we'll walk, we walk this bit. I mean, that's fine. Parachute. And... Too bad. Oh, the sun is still up a little bit. Let's see, can we get a crew report? No. I'm going to use the shadow for the 
the landing burn it's quite tough because the ship is really light the engine is oversized and if I put too much landing thrust we'll actually go up lose the parachute and crash and die we don't want that to happen parachute is out yes I don't want to die we're so close to the spot we can walk through these hills fairly really easily easily we will need to walk with the sun at our back because we don't have a nav ball or anything once once in EVA mode. Cool. Little detail, we won't be able to see the sun. We'll need to walk straight towards the moon then. Yes. Sort of. Okay, landing mode. No shadow? Oh man, same thing happened again. The decoupler maybe saved us. May have saved us. But let go. We'll recover this crud later. Let's walk towards the moon. Actually, I know a friend of mine once when when he was a student. He got so drunk and he was at a party in some field. And I think he decided to walk towards the moon. And when whilst doing that, he failed to notice the fact that there was a ditch with some water in it, and he fell in and got really soaked. And that's the story. It was funny. Um, let's see. Yeah, we have some walking to do. I think Minmus will be our guiding star, and then after that, the moon. Here we go again. I hope. This will not take as long as the last time. Last stream it took like 15 minutes to walk to the EVA sites. But then I think we did discover that you don't have to be super close to it. So I think we did a fairly good job of landing near it. And then we'll get to the good news, which is that once we cash in this thing, we will be able to get new contracts. And that's great. That's really nice. So after we cash in this contract, there will be a small break in the stream, like 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll do more. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's... Holy shit, is it... Is it still that far? Oh, man. Let's see, this is... I'm now really happy we didn't try to walk like 20 kilometers. God damn it. I would do the break now, but then I'd, do, I'd be doing the walking all alone, which would, wouldn't be fair. Look, it's, it, the sun is setting. Are we going in the right direction? We have gone 700 meters. Maybe... I'm just being fussy. We should be able to, to walk a little bit more. And I think we are going in the right direction at least. And the two points are very close together. One thing I must try and remember is to not accept any of these contracts again. Not when I don't have a viable lander that can do a, a small hop to the next area. Oh, look at that, the stars became visible from one second to the next. Oh, we're not walking towards the moon anymore. Should we be? Let's see, where is the moon? No, we shouldn't be walking towards the moon. We should be walking towards, well, a little bit left of the moon. See, this is like a kilometer now. We're like one-fifth of the way there. We need to walk to this star. I know it's just a bit on the on a, on a bitmap image, probably a skybox thing. But we're we're walking towards it. Walking towards it. Come on, Jebediah. Act like you're a booster. EVA report. Yeah, two sides. We're not missing anything. We just have to do this. Just have to do the walkabout. Why the hell not? Let's do this. I froze my fingers off this morning. I had to beat some ice out of the way. And my usual chemical assistance didn't work. And I couldn't feel my fingers. And then 
until like now. I think now is the first moment it's evening that they don't hurt, which is good, but it's a little bit worrying that they hurt the whole day from killing some eyes. Oh well, that's my sob story. Otherwise, everything was pretty much great. 1.6 kilometers. What did I estimate? Five? Yeah, we're like a third of the way there now. That means, let's see, that and from there to there it's really close. So yeah, that means about five more real real life minutes. I think that's a reasonable assessment. By the way, when I stopped walking, I up up to the chat. Just saw a new face in there. Hey, Nabaki. What we're doing and the reason for this ridiculous walkabout is we're playing KSP in super hard mode where you don't get money for rocket fuel. You get 10% of the regular rewards and you get 1000% of the regular penalties. So once you accept the contract, which I foolishly did, to chart some stuff by EVA on your home planet, you got to do it because if you fail it, you're immediately game over because you have to pay like 100,000 million in fines. And, well, the lack of funds also mean you can't build elaborate spaceships, which is a little bit purpose-defeating, because th that's the fun bit of the game, really. But, 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 no fancy spaceships means no short rocket hubs. So walking, and that's what we're doing now. We landed here, and we need EVA samples of these bits. Afterwards, we'll go to space. Pinky swear. Where's the moon? There. We're using the moon to orient ourselves. I think it's on that hill. That's where we need to go. Ah, I ran out of fun stories, I think. Life's too boring. Only working, watching some Netflix, doing streams. Can't wait to go on holiday somewhere. Do some diving, racing. Get some adrenaline going. I haven't been doing that in a long time though. So. Oh, look at that. I can zoom out really far. That's a fun game. Oh, whoops. We're 2.6 kilometers away. Let's zoom back into our guy. Here we go. Wow, he's far away. He's such an intrepid little walker. Are we actually on track? Oh, we are on track. We're actually almost there. Yay! Well, almost there. We're more almost there than we were. Now I think we need to head pretty much straight for the moon. I think we're past the halfway point. We're closer to being done than we were than, uh, when we started. Um, no, we're closer to being done than we were to... I don't know how to phrase that. We, I mean, we were cl closer to being done than when we started. We're closer, to, we're closer to being done than we are to being started in the reverse temporal framework. Right. I got confused there, which I think is telling for this evening. Many failed rockets, confused walks in EVA suits. Things are not looking that good for the space program. Confused astronauts are not the best, not the best sort. Come on, get there already. I always think this walk thing is going to be a walk in the park. Ha 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 ha. And then I hate it. So I'm not gonna do it again. Not even if we need money. If it's if it's doing this again or giving up, it's it's gonna be giving up. Damn, damn, damn. We've been walking for thirty in game minutes at times four acceleration. That's almost ten minutes in real time. Ten valuable minutes. I'm ten minutes closer to dying. And I've been doing this. Damn it. 
turning around, how far are we? 3.4 kilometers. I ran 3.4 kilometers the other day. It took me 20 minutes. That means I run faster than the Kerbal in the spacesuit. Yay. If I suppose that's something. Did it say entering the area? No, no, I don't think it did. Um, holding the button is what I do. Holding buttons. Staring at green grass and black space and holding buttons. Holding the buttons so well. I'm really good at holding buttons actually. God damn it. Won't you believe it? We're being too zealous in the heading north bit. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna stop the stream. I'm gonna do the walking because this is just protracting the slowest hell death ever. Stream will be back in about 15 to 20 minutes when this walking has concluded and then we'll f work on getting into space. See you in that, a lot, that amount of time when we will attempt another contract. Hopefully that will go a little bit smoother than this one. I'm Lorenzo. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be right back.